perspectives on disaster zones and breathtaking shots of tourist destinations, the rise of consumer drones is bringing us remarkable new ways to see the world. How did drone technology take off so quickly? Well, it turns out the answer is in your pocket, the smartphone. Because smartphone technology is moving so fast, and because the same sensors and chips and cameras that are in smartphones drive drones, the drone industry was able to draft behind the smartphone industry and benefit from the fastest uh, progression of Moore's law the world's ever seen. This is a global revolution. The market leader is a Chinese company, DJI, and the uptake in consumer drones is driving commercial uses. Amazon is one of a number of companies that want to use them to deliver packages. And CNN has joined a trial program to help U.S. authorities form rules about how companies can use drones. But as the potential uses grow, so do the worries. A drone carrying a message of protest landed on the Japanese prime minister's residence and one crashed into the White House lawn. Security concerns prompting authorities in the U.S. to call for a drone registry. Critics say it's not enough. So then there's a first good point of um, getting getting to know where the pilot is and who the pilot is, but surely it's not enough. It uh, does not protect anything. For that, you need a little bit more because the bad guys certainly will not certify their drones and will not have them registered. Whether they're flown by bad guys, big companies, or your next door neighbor, drones are an increasingly common sight in our skies. Christy Boostout, CNN, Hong Kong.